What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I wanna introduce you guys to the Blue Driver Pro Scan Tool. I was introduced to this product by Chris Fix and it's a great little tool to have. Basically what it does is that if you have any check engine lights or if you have a commonly reported dash light, for example, the ABS is the most common one, this tool, you plug it into your OBD2 port and you just run the, you just run the diagnosis and it'll tell you why that light is popping up. It's a great little tool to have because it, it works via Bluetooth so it connects to your phone and you're able to generate a report and you can save that, you know, send it to someone else or just have it, uh, have, it, have it for reference right on the bat. And in general, what it also does is it provides a reported fix to kind of show you guys what other people have tried to resolve the issue. So that way you're kind of well informed whether you want to attempt to fix this on your own or bring it into a shop. Overall, it's a very simple to use tool and I'll show you guys how to set it up as well as give you guys an example of a sample report that uh, I was able to generate using uh, both my car as well as my mom's car. So with that said, let's get started. After you plugged in the device, navigate to your Bluetooth settings and connect the device. You'll see the device name something similar to what I have here. It should say Blue Driver and then followed by a few numbers. So after you've successfully connected, launch the Blue Driver app and then let that connect as well. Now this is the main screen. So I won't go into too much detail here to avoid making a lengthy video, but the overall app is very easy to use and straightforward. The first thing you wanna do is get familiar with the device, so go, go ahead and click on more, and then go through the video-based user manual. It'll show you how to use each tab on the previous screen in less than one minute videos, and that's what I really like about this uh, device in general. It's very easy to use and everything is video-based instead of having to read some text. So in a nutshell, you'll be able to get a full understanding of the device in less than five minutes. Afterwards, check the sensor for an update, and if there is one, just let it download and update before running any scans. Now with all the logistics out of the way, we're back at the main screen. Starting with the top row, these features will allow you to read any check engine lights or dash lights that you might have. Next to that option, you have the ability to clear those codes if you've already completed the repair or addressed the issue. Additionally, you can also save the report with the current mileage to view at a later time. This is also where you can generate a report for possible causes and fixes as well as shop for replacement parts. What's really cool here is that they use the same identity fix database that professional shops use. So it's able to match your vehicle's issue to a verified fix from a database of over 30 million solutions and it continues to be updated weekly. This is also where you can share the reports via email or Dropbox if you do need to email it to a friend or a mechanic at a later time. The middle row has three additional scans or checks that you can perform. Freeze frame tells you the status of your car when the check engine light came on. It gives you every detail related to your engine's operating condition the moment that light went on, and it's useful for when you're diagnosing a problem. Smog check is a fancier way of saying emissions check. This feature is really beneficial if you're due for an emissions test, since you can get a status check ahead of time and address any issues that might cause you to fail that test. Mode 6 reports advanced test results like misfire counts for OBD systems. The last row just gives you some general information about your vehicle as well as the ability to turn on the flashlight from within the app which is kind of cool. So MIL stands for malfunction indicator light and it lets you know if the check engine light is on and when it was cleared last along with uh, how long your engine has currently been running for. So this is really useful when you're looking for a pre-owned vehicle because you can kind of gauge as to when the check engine light went on with the car and then you can inquire about why it was on and do a little bit deeper dive and figure out if there are any mechanical problems that you should be concerned about before purchasing that vehicle. Vehicle info just reports the year, model, and VIN of your car. And what's really nice here is that you can see if there's any recalls or service bulletins that pertain specifically to your car. Now, as you guys know, dealers don't always check for service bulletins, 
So if you do find a problem, there's a chance it might be part of a ser service bulletin and it could be covered under warranty, saving you the time to fix it as well as the money to fix it as well. And there you guys go. So it's a nifty little tool to have in your toolbox at your disposal. So if you ever do end up having a check engine light or a common dash light, you can just pop this tool in, run the diagnosis and figure out what's going on with the car. And then with that reported fix feature, which is awesome, it can kind of give you an idea of or what solutions are out there right now, what people have tried and see if that was successful. Or if you don't feel comfortable, you can just take it into a shop and then um, have them look into it a little bit further. But this time, at least you're aware about what needs to be fixed so you can be charged accordingly and not have to end up worrying about paying for unnecessary repairs. Now, the biggest uh, advantage to this on top of what I've just mentioned is that if you're in the market for buying a pre-owned vehicle, whether it's from a dealership or from a private seller, this tool can give you a whole lot of insight into the car's condition. So that way you can be an informed buyer before uh, driving off with the vehicle. Again, I've, it's about $99 from Amazon. I've put the link in the description below. But if you did find this video helpful, guys, please do share, subscribe, and like. And stay tuned for more content. I'll be uploading some content probably starting uh, sometime late April. So thanks again for watching, guys. See you next time.